everyone. Today is another day for another story. We will read a story entitled, A Day in a Market. A Day in a Market by May Tobias Papa. Today, I woke up early. I was still sleepy when Nana helped me get dressed. I will spend the day with her. Today is market day. Listen well, Nana said. Hold on to me tightly, ha, huh? so you won't get lost. And don't point at things that you want me to buy for you. Yes, Nana, I promise, I said. Nana and I each carry a bayong. Nana's bayong is big and colorful. Mine is small and yellow. The market is noisy. People shout at each other, not angrily, but happily. They all seem to know each other. Suke, Suke, buy for me, Suke. I don't like the smell of the market. It smells like meat, chicken, and fish. But why does Nana seem to like smelling these things? The market is hot and muddy. Now I know why Nana wanted to come early. The market gets crowded when it's late in the morning. The market vendors are kind to us. They let Nana and me taste what they're selling. Watermelon, lanzones, rice cakes. They fill my small bayong with lots of things. There are a lot of things to see in the market. Some are odd, some are scary, some are wonderful. Hi! And I really like the tiny earthenware stove with a tiny earthenware pot. What fun it will be to play with it. But I made Nana a promise. Nana and I are very tired. Going to the market is not easy. When we get home, I help Nana put away the things we bought. But wait, what do I see wrapped in a newspaper? The shape looks familiar. It looks like a, a tiny earthenware stove with a tiny earthenware pot. Thanks, Nana. The end. The story has ended, but then I would like to ask a few things. Few questions. Have you ever gone to the market? Most of us did, but what's the first thing that you observe in the market? Do you see any difference between the market that the girl described on the story and the market that you know? No, right? Because almost all the markets are the same. From the way the vendors sell their products, and the products they sell, and also the smell of the market. Last question. If you were the girl in the story, would you do the same? Would you keep your promise just like what she did? If you're a good kid, you will write because all good kids listen to their parents. This would be the last question for this story. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. And also, I hope you have learned something on this story. And apply this lesson if ever you experience this kind of situation. Bye! Have a good day.